Hey, so earlier I was talking about um, dreams and needing to pay attention to those. And I was laying in my bed trying to rest. I just keep trying to get some rest and um, kind of recuperate and get my energies back up. But as I was laying there, I started hearing shifting timelines. And <laughs> I know sometimes I sound like a sci-fi channel, but that's the thing about... Um, energy vibration frequency it seems like it is a fairy tale but it's funny it's a reality and nobody is even really aware of it so I had to even pull out my pendulum and start asking questions and I'm over there almost in I want to say disbelief but I'm not really ever blown away by the answers that I get because I had to ask have I shifted timelines and the answer was yes and I already knew the answer. I just wanted verification, I guess. But um, with that, when we shift timelines, we get back into situations that we once got rid of, right? And it's funny because right now I was talking about the ghost of the past coming back. And it it's, um, it's like that movie everything everywhere all at once something like that um i watched it and i it made perfect sense to me and that's basically what i'm trying to deal with in my own mind right now because we can jump timelines like this throughout a day it has to do with where your vibration is where the frequency is at um, if the other people that you were in contact with are on that same vibration um, and that frequency as well so we get to a point where it's like if you're on one timeline and you're not thinking about people of the past anymore you've moved <clears throat> to a different reality because timelines are merely realities, right? So when you can jump timelines, you can actually heal situations within that timeline. So this allows you to heal yourself across all space and time. And this is where breaking generational curses can happen. This is where you're altering your genetics so fast that Things are changing within you genetically, if that makes any sense. Um, so like I said, I have come to realize I've shifted a timeline and I'm actually back in a timeline that I thought I had left. <laughs> and I can't say that I didn't leave it. It just at one point, I, I feel like everything merged into one for me. And I, I know that sounds crazy. Hey, that goes back to that movie. Everything everywhere all at once i swear that's the name of it i don't know it was a good movie but um so anyways now i'm back to having to sort out my energies and like no you belong there and you belong back there and this belongs there and it, it's all gonna make sense and everything's gonna be fine and dandy again that's not how life works but anyways when we're sorting through the muck you know the spiritual baggage, the energetic um, fizzles, I don't know how else to express it, like the zaps that shock us into reality. It's almost like you're sleeping in a timeline and then you're zapped into the reality of that timeline and you're like, whoa, I'm completely present now. And then you begin to function on that timeline and then when things begin to shift and change vibrationally or energetically for you, you begin to find yourself in another timeline. So <laughs> I'm hoping you're following me on this. I know it sounds like I said, like a sci-fi fantasy movie, but this is my reality. I'm sharing my reality with you as cuckoo as it sounds. But so for me, as I'm shifting through these different stories, timelines, events, moments, um, existences. It leaves me feeling stagnant a lot of times or overwhelmed. And that's also, no matter what timeline, timeline I'm on, I'm still the messenger. <laughs> and it's, 
it's um it's like that series i i saw a few episodes i want to say it's time travelers or something like that to where these people go through history and people are dying but the that person cannot die in that timeline so these other individuals have to step into their bodies to do what it was that person had to initiate for history to be able to go in the direction in which it was going to go if that makes sense I'm not saying i'm a time traveler don't go around and tell your friends this crazy bitch over here says she's a time traveler because like i said i'm not claiming that i just know that energetically we have the ability to um almost take these little side routes in life and it is not something everybody is aware of because once again it is being aware of your energy it's raising your vibration to a certain level but understand just because you raise your vibration you get in contact with toxic people you can lower your vibration which i haven't even thought as deep into the concept of the timelines of does that get you trapped in that timeline to now that's where you have to heal what is damaged in that timeline before you can adjust your frequency again because remember when you get around toxic people that begins to affect you lower your vibration um, bring more toxicity into your life you might have deal with addictions and um all kinds of things that don't allow you to function at an optimal level so even if you go in with good intentions does not mean that the outcome is going to be a positive one because remember choices affect every single outcome and it's funny on the timeline i'm on right now i'm starting to become aware of certain things certain factors where certain people think they're hiding behind um false accounts let's say and i'm just gonna look at you and go i know exactly who you are and i know i'm talking to you and i know what's being said in between the lines i just wish you could find the courage to do it in person be vulnerable it's okay and like i said that was a message for a specific person because we all get comfortable hiding behind a facade and the internet has made it so easy to hide and it's funny when i was laying there thinking about timelines and chilling with little Maisie may oh she's standing up now <laughs> my son came in and he always likes to lay across me because i'm pretty sure he likes to hear me go Ugh, because he's a whole foot taller than me and he's heavy but he said what you doing and I said nothing because I was thinking about timelines and um, I said I've just been kind of sitting around thinking and made a video earlier he said I thought you didn't like the internet and I said well you know I've learned that either we adapt with the changes or we lose it right and like I pointed out to him I realized it's not going anywhere and it's something that I have to work with at this point because i used to be a big advocate of the internet tears families apart television tears families apart it has a tendency of brainwashing people in a negative way here i am going off track of what i came on here to talk about but anyways that used to be my mindset on the internet now i go with the flow and roll with the punches because that's just what life wants us to do so when it came down to realizing i've shifted timelines it makes sense in why I'm so tired and then it also makes sense of why certain memories are coming back full force because there's also um, key players that were in a timeline that I was in that they challenged me and almost dared me to fail and the funny thing about me is when you say I'm not going to succeed bitch you better know i'm coming back bigger better harder faster stronger whatever it is you better know i'm gonna prove you wrong in a million different ways and then when i prove you wrong i'm just gonna smile as i walk away because i don't hang out with people that doubt me i don't need knowers in my life i like yayers yesers i like people that do you know 
So that was food for thought for you. I'm not going to keep going through this paradigm shift, um, how we have different roles that we play in each other's lives. It, it was just a thought that I wanted to share with you because there's always room to think bigger. There is always room to dive deeper and have conversations that matter versus um, what car you drive, where you work, how much money you got, what you got going on. You know, oh, you look good. Quit being so damn shallow. If you got to put on floaties and learn to swim, learn to swim. Like I put on my Facebook page the other day because don't forget that's over there somewhere. Hearts Healing Forward on Facebook. But um, if you don't know how to dive deep, you're not my swimming partner. I can teach you how to swim, but I won't dive with you. <laughs> so um, I'm going to leave it on that note. And hopefully this will inspire other people to start thinking outside the box. Because there's more to life than what's right in front of your eyes. So talk to you later. Peace, love, and light. Bye-bye.